We are the guinea pig collective. All will be assimilated. Resistance is futile. Welcome back as we're hanging out with Strud the Horror Icon Pig. What's going on, Strud? Get ready for Pig Ween, right, Strud? Oh, yeah, eventually you guys are all going to get in your costumes. But that's not what we're here for right now. We're here for something that's horror-related, right, Strud? And from NECA, we got... The Puppet Master, evil comes in all sizes, the ultimate tunneler, and Fetterman. I mean, Pinhead. Pinhead. This one looks really cool, like the last one I did with Blade and Torch. Once again, you open it up, and it almost looks like a steamer trunk, and you got everything that you have for these characters in this set. And it does look like this one comes with a bit more accessories than the Blade and Torch one did. So this looks interesting, and we're going to go ahead and get this sucker open and take a look at it. Here we go. Right out of the package, here we go with Tumblr and Running for Senate. Oh, I mean, uh, Pinhead. These ones don't look bad, half bad. The Tumblr has very small feet, just like the Blade figure did. So he has a little bit of trouble standing sometimes, and Pinhead as well, because while well, Pinhead is such a huge blocky figure, and he's got these teeny to tiny little feet to try to balance himself on. Uh, I don't know. Well, what we're gonna get into is check out the articulation and see how well these things can stand up on their own. And here we go with Pinhead with a different hand holding a big giant pipe wrench. You can see all the articulation that's in there with the knee joints and the hips and all the joints that are up in the elbows and the shoulders. And there we got Tunnler showing off some of his articulation as well. Really good head movement and of course he has his gun in his hand. Here we go with Pinhead with his last hand and he's got his big giant fire poker in his hand. Had him spread out really far on this table, so there really was no room for Tunneler on this one. Once again, showing off some of the articulation. He's got that waist right there that goes up and down, turns side to side. Got an amazing, amazing amount of head movement on this one. The little head turns on top of the neck. The neck itself turns and moves in there as well. Amazing amount of movement on this one. Of course, he got movement in the legs. He's got a nice bend right here at the knee. He does have a little bit of turn and a small amount of rock. It just really isn't enough with his teeny tiny little feet to really keep him stable. And unfortunately, because these things are so small, there's no peg holes on these. So if you can't get him to stand, that is pretty much it. Does have a turn right there at the hand. He's got a double jointed elbow right here, kind of right there. It's like it's a joint up here and a joint over here. It, that has turn. There's turn there as well. And then, of course, the shoulders go up about that far. And, of course, they go all the way up and around. Really, really well done on this one. And the detailing, once again, the detailing looks really nice on this figure. Looks really good. Even the poker looks pretty decent. They didn't go super in-depth with the poker like they do with some of the other weapons with some of the other figures, but it's not bad for what it is. The figure itself does look really good though. And if it wasn't for these teeny tiny little feet and maybe having a little bit more rock rocker in there so you could make them stand, this thing would be hitting every mark that I would expect to hit. Comes really close, but they missed out just a little bit. He is, however, the largest of the Puppet Master figures so far. we go with the tunneler he has a different hand in there and a different head that's all bloodied up at the top of that drill head and look at that gets down into a kneeling pose and he has a really cool pickaxe that comes with it and there's also a big vial that comes that's actually supposed to go in the hand of pinhead i just kind of forgot about it because it was sitting on the same side of accessories as Tumbler, and I thought maybe it was his at first, and then I realized, oh, no, it's for Pinhead. But that's not a big deal. So we're going to head, take a look at his articulation. The same thing, he's got the kick up, he's got the knee bend. He's got the turn down here at the ankle. A little bit of pivot as well on this one. 
besides the rock. So he has a little bit more than pinhead in that way. Uh, maybe not the full Van Damme splits, but pretty damn good for such a tiny figure. Got a waist cut there as well. Uh, he does not really have much of a rock or hula hoop action as some of the other ones did. He does have an incredibly fair amount of movement on this secondary head, just like the first one. So look at that and see all the detailing that they have right there with that nice spiral tip with all the blood all over it. Like really amazing detailing that they got on this thing. Of course, you can see with all the movement there in the hands, he's got the wrists, he's got the the pivots here in the wrist. He's got the elbows and the elbows do turn right there. And of course he's got arm movement as well. He also comes with this double ended meat hook on a line. Uh, just, I, I, I can't remember where that comes in in the movie, but that's also in with these figures as well. Overall, I think these ones are really nice. Now, even though their limitation is in standing. You can get a lot more pivot action in these two to actually get them to stand a little bit better than the blade figure from the other pack. I think everything is here with this one. The detail is amazing. All the accessories are there. And of course, there is tons of articulation in these guys. I was a little bit worried about Tunnler when I put his secondary hand on because that wrist joint is so tiny, but it popped out. The new one popped right in. There was absolutely no issues whatsoever. I got to say, I am even more impressed with this set than I was with the Blade and Torch set. And that's saying a lot because Blade was my favorite character from the Puppet Masters series of movies. This set, I think, is pretty damn amazing. I am going to give this one a 9 out of 10. Once again, this comes really close. I wish they would have put pegs in the bottom of the feet somehow. I know these figures are tiny, but it could have been a way to put some, some little holes in the bottom of their feet so you could have pegged them in somewhere if you wanted some really dynamic poses for these guys. Otherwise, everything else about these guys is superb. So guys, be sure to let the horror icon pig stripe know what you think about these ones. Later, y'all.